Welcome back. Today we're going to take a closer look at neurons. Neurons are cells that transmit signals throughout your body's nervous system. There are billions of them passing messages all the time throughout your body. Let's start with the parts of a neuron. Every neuron has three main parts, cell body, dendrites, and axon. And most neurons look like this one. The cell body is this bulkier end. It contains the neuron's nucleus and other organelles. You know, mitochondria, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum. Remember those? Dendrites are the branches off of the cell body. They receive information from receptors or other neurons and conduct this information towards the cell body. The axon is this long section that carries the message to other neurons or effector cells. Many neurons have axons covered with myelin sheath. Myelin is a fatty protein formed by glial cells. In the central nervous system, oligodendrocytes myelinate the axon, but Schwann cells myelinate axons in the peripheral nervous system. The gaps between each myelin are called nodes of Ranvier. The myelin sheath has three main jobs. Insulate the neuron, increase nerve impulse speed, and regenerate new nerve tissue. The neuron isn't being insulated against the cold, but rather keeps the message from being lost as it travels the axon. Messages travel as an impulse through the neuron. It's like a baseball crowd doing the wave. If sections of the seats are empty, the wave will get to the end faster as it skips over those empty sections. An impulse is able to skip over the myelinated sections of the axon helping the messages get where they need to go faster. Once we discuss how nerve impulses travel down axons, these first two jobs will make more sense. The third job, regeneration, is necessary when there is any damage to a neuron. If an axon gets damaged from being cut or crushed, the myelin sheath formed by Schwann cells can help guide and encourage the axon to regrow. Neurons usually line up with the axon of one near the dendrite of the next, so that the messages can be passed and received properly. When you play the game telephone, you don't hold your foot up to the person whispering the phrase to you. The axon and dendrites of each neighboring neuron do not touch. There are small gaps between them called synapses. In this video, we identified the neuron cell body, dendrites, axon, myelin sheath, nodes of Ranvier, and synapses. Next video, we'll look at how neurons pass messages throughout your body.